the December 2nd. Yeah, it's funny how the days follow each other. Um, and this is the good news. Uh, you know, special uh, Sunday edition. No, nobody watches edition. God, it pisses me off. Well, anyway, I mean, I just did a video. One of my best videos ever. Well, not best ever, but, you know, pretty damn good on, you know, very important subject, you know, objective morality and stuff. Fuck. People are starting, you know, commenting about how my hair looks. My fucking hair. Oh, God. Nobody watches the damn thing. Idiotic comments. It's like, what the fuck am I doing? And here I am, doing news. Hmm. I'll punish you people somehow. All right, anyway, in the news, Clinton, you know. Hillary Clinton, she impressed everybody. Why? I have no fucking idea. Because what? She didn't go completely hysterical ape shit because some guy faked bombed, you know, her campaign headquarters, faked bombed it, uh, seeking health care coverage. <sighs> I mean, I think they did go a little hysterical. Actually, they canceled all their campaign events, both her and the husband, and, uh, you know, heightened security and, you know, Red flags and green light, well, not green lights, red lights or whatever the fucking things are, and the symbols and the flashing and the, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. And, uh, you know, I don't see how she, how'd she handle this great? I don't see the handling it great. Handling great would it be, oh, man, this is fucked up. You know, we really got to do something for people. I mean, they really shouldn't have to, uh, you know, go into campaign headquarters with a, you know, bomb-like device and, uh, you know, to get health care coverage. You know, for being crazy. I mean, those are, maybe those should be on like the top of the list of the people we cover for health care is the crazy people. That should maybe be a priority. The crazy people. <sighs> All right. Anyway, so next story, Imus. I thought he was dead. Uh, but anyway, uh, no, apparently he's only been going seven months or something. I thought it's been like seven years. Uh, never liked him. Uh, but anyway, he's going to have a show back on now in the mornings. Uh, apparently, you know, he's probably getting paid half as much. And uh, the network, the, I don't know, it's some kind of silly network, you know, the Neighborhood Fascist Inc. radio network. Um, yeah, they're putting them on, and they're, just, they're being quite honest about, yes, they're doing it for the money. Uh, <laughs> you know, they don't give a shit about the, you know, politically correct stuff, which is probably okay. But, you know, he did say a stupid thing. And he's an idiot anyway. And he's like 5,000 year old guy. I mean, fuck him. Oof. It gives me a creep. You know what gives me the most creeps is the people he has on his show. I mean, it's all them talking head political fuckball lying bastards. And he talks to them like they're be his best friends with him. And then like his staff people, that creepy guy who reads the news and show. Oh, man, that guy creeps me out. Ooh. Ooh. So anyway, I fortunately don't have cable TV anymore, so I ain't going to be seeing the show. And I haven't turned the radio on in like, you know, 10 years. Anyway, next story, Saudi Arabia. Boy, I better get going. This is way over. Uh, they didn't like being criticized, you know. It annoyed them about the whole, um, you know, let's you know beat up the, the rape victim woman because uh, she dared to get into a car with the, you know, unescorted with a man. But she was escorted. It was two women. Well, anyway, they both got raped and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, it's stupid. And, you know... <laughs> they have the clerics in charge of their Supreme Court. That's how you get on the court. You just have to be, have a funny hat and be, you know, a religious nut, and you get on the Supreme Court in Saudi Arabia and decide people's fate. And you just make it up as you go along, you know. If you don't like them, you don't like their last name, fuck them. Oh, it's amazing that we support such a bullshit country, and we allow the, the theft, all that money that is just thieved by the royal family. Anyway, Iraq. Uh, hey, we're celebrating. Only 718 Iraqis died last month. Yeah, great month. Only 718. Huh, I wonder how many orphans I created. Orphans with red eyes now that just say revenge. You know, kill Americans. I wonder how many. Pirates in the Arabian Sea. I don't even understand how this is an issue, but anyway, apparently we arrest these pirates, or we don't even arrest them, we just kind of shoot up their little boats, because apparently they have a mothership that just pushes out all these little boats to do the pirating, and the whole idea of the pirating, I guess, is to just capture a boat and then hold it for ransom, 
and it, you know, it seems kind of interesting that you can actually hold to, for ransom a boat, you know, like capture a Japanese boat, and apparently the Japanese will actually pay you to get the boat back. I don't know. It doesn't sound right to me, but I guess it must work or the pirates wouldn't be doing it. But they must have a pretty damn good system. Um, okay. Celebrity news. Uh, I don't know, one of those douchebag horse shits from uh, American Idol. You know, I don't know anything about them. Well, anyway, uh, she keeps getting drunk or something, and she was supposed to do rehab, and uh, apparently going to have a TV show with this Dr. Drew idiot, and, uh, you know, celebrity rehab, you know, reality series. Ugh. I mean, doesn't, doesn't this bother anybody that this is what they put on television? Whew. Man. All right. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah, people stole seven million dollars. You know, this is a couple. And, uh, you know, they, they, I guess they did in Cleveland or something. They got caught in West Virginia. But I'm saying, if you're going to say seven million dollars and you actually get out of the state, man, what a fuck up you are to get caught. I mean, shit, couldn't you disappear somewhere? I mean, there's all kinds of woods in, like, Wyoming and shit. What the fuck are you going to West Virginia for? Hmm, seems like a waste of a perfectly good, you know, you got away with the thing, and then you just don't know how to disappear properly. I mean, for seven million dollars, you should be able to disappear. But anyway, people are idiots. Uh, what the hell? Oh, here's a fucking some drama student in Montana, I guess it was. It, you know, put a pumpkin pie in um, Santa Claus's face. You know, I guess he was doing a dramatic thing for. Some sort of one of those, it's like Cody's making himself a movie. And so apparently he begged for a camera from somebody, got a camera, so he could make a pie in the face of Santa movie. And, but the funniest part of the story was, you know, was, <laughs> there was apparently a 15-year-old girl in Santa's lap at the time. I just found that kind of funny, you know, 15-year-old girl. Um, maybe the Santa thing, maybe that's the gig to have over the holidays. You know, people have asked me, um, you know, employment advice. Maybe that's the job to have. Um, turkey. Yeah, well, they, they shot at 50 or 60 rebel guys over in, uh, you know, the Kurds in Iraq. And, uh, you know, we knew that was going to happen eventually. And uh, they are, you know, certainly inflicted um, significant losses. So, you know, not good. It's just going to be back and forth, dead, you know, bad. Korea and North Korea and the nuke talks. Whole big, long news story. Didn't read it. Just said, fuck this, you know. <laughs> so it goes into all this shit. Well, 1962, they told, they were playing with plutonimized uraniumite, and, uh, you know, we're not sure what they did with that, and blah, 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 and all this bullshit. And it all comes down to is we're like, oh, they have to come clean. What the fuck does that mean? No, I think we have to prove that they did something, you know. I don't think they're going to come clean. And uh, so there's speculation that they've, you know, um, you know, talked with Syria and, you know, might be selling some technology to them and whatnot. Yeah, we're going to get fucked on this deal. I mean, once they got it, yeah, of course they're not going to forget how to do it. You fucking, you know, you figure out how to make a nuclear bomb, you're not going to forget how to do it. Ugh. You know, really. Ugh. Okay. Um, yeah, the other thing is I wanted to point to a, um, a link, you know, to, uh, yeah, it, this, you know, these guys are kind of funny. Um, well, they're really very funny. They don't have many subscribers. They really deserve more. They make some really good, you know, song parodies kind of thing. I mean, some of their humor uh, is a little long, a little boring, but, you know, it's fun. You know, it's, it's funny. But the songs are really good, talented, all that crap. They really probably should have more subscribers than me. And uh, so I'll post a link over there. And they just post a bunch of uh, serial killer videos. Probably going to get in trouble with that. I imagine that's a copyright problem. But anyway, they were very interesting. Um, and uh, the last is, uh, oh yeah, The Amazing Atheist. Boy, did he ever do us a favor. He was going to do a dumb drama video, but instead he broke this breaking news. The Pope has been talking trash about atheists. Can you fucking believe it? The goddamn Pope is talking trash about atheists. I couldn't believe when I heard that. I mean, you know... <sighs> You live your life, and you say, hey, I think I understood everything. I think I knew, I think I know what's going on. And all of a sudden you find out that a pope is capable of talking trash about atheists. Oh, I mean, I was just stunned. It was like more shocking, you know, than 
and two girls in a cup. I mean, it was just, whoa, the Pope is talking trash about atheists. So I was really glad he let us all know that was going on so we could, you know, properly react to it. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I haven't figured out what the proper reaction is yet. It's, you know, when stuff has only been going on for 2,000 years, it's hard to, you know, what, how, you know, you just don't really have enough time to react. I mean, it's only 2,000 years of popish horror. How do I, how do I, you know, I just, I need more time to think about how to react to that. Anyway, that's all satire, by the way. So, I guess that's it. That's the news. And, uh... Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Um, I'm not wearing any pants, but it's kind of irrelevant.